few things. Um, I want to try and get this bare. It's just come out of the oven, this. It's 180 degrees. And this has just come out of the freezer. So, I'm going to see if I'm lucky and uh, try and get this bearing out. It's the old seal. Now, in theory, this should just pop out quite easy. Yeah, and if it's that easy to get in, to get out. Right, and I want to get this seal out as well. Okay. Smack out. This is the mechanical seal. So you draw it out from the inside. So there you go. It kind of just tapped in. Very easy. That's frozen. This is hot. Happy, no damage. Right, mechanical seal. Uh, this has just come out of the oven, as recommended. Um, there's apparently two sizes of holes. Earlier models had a smaller diameter, so it's worth just checking. It's flipping hot. 220 degrees. So it's, yeah, it's 20, what is it? 28.6, so that's fine. The new one, 28.6, so in theory it should just drop in this. Um, I'm going to use some fuel tank sealant because I know nothing gets past this. Use it in the aircraft wings. Like so. It's probably too much on there, but anyway, clean it off after. Put it in this way. trick is to go evenly so I've got a gator type thing which works quite well I just need to make sure it's in the middle Birds on the roof. A socket on there. Hoping this works.
haven't started. Second attempt, the bloody water seal, 60 euros later. Um, last time I used the press and the wrong kind of thing to, to dr drive it in or press it in. So I've found a nice plastic cap that fits nicely on there. Uh, so I'm going to go for that. I have some sealant ready. Sake. Okay, I might have just been very lucky. This works, I'll tell you what I'm using. He's only gone and bloody done it. Perfect. So that was a bit of a panic, but it's it's in, it's flush, there's no damage. I've got sealant all around there. It looks a bit messy, but I know that's uh, really good stuff. And the bearing I've used is off the gearbox. So that was a perfect fit. So if you're looking for something, there you go. Here's the old one.
So I'm carrying on with the back cover. Um, right, so we're, I'm going for the race on ignition. Um, which means changing the old stator uh, to a purely 12 volt, which is also recommended with lithium ion batteries. So I'm going to remove this, use the bolts. We don't need these um, high energy coils or pickups, but we do need um, this indication for the timing, which weirdly is on the long way around. I can't remember if I've removed this, maybe I have. So that should be on that side. Uh, and we need this. So I'm going to swap that over and put a new stator on today. And we've got the new mechanical seal, the gear, um, Selector arm seal needs to go in, and I think that's it. The rear cover is finished. The rear cover, the rear part of the engine is totally finished. The only thing I need to think about is I think you have to be top dead center on the left to adjust this. So I'm not sure, I'll have to read it, but you can obviously do it um, in situ anyway. Uh, I found my shaft, that's all fine. Working lovely. Changed all this. Because the uh, little bush was warm, so that's good. Um, I've got my dowels fitted. One there, one there. The water jackets. That's not the best, I've had to just clean it up a bit. There's a bit of damage removing it, but where the seal goes, it's okay. So I think also should be good. So the block is uh, ready, basically. The oil pump bolt is uh, refitted now. So anyway, I got this from Caltrick. It's like the first thing I bought, naturally, but it comes quite smart with its own little grommets and nice, nice little loom. So, yeah, we'll see how we go with this. Three bolts, all the same size. That's got a washer. This can come out. How does it go? Okay, so it's one neutral switch. I think that's on the old, on the new one as well. It is. So that's nice. We need the right hand pickup, as I said which is this. There's two little rivets and need to drill out. This could, I mean, these high, high voltage coils here have a problems, trials, normally. So that could have been also a reason it was missing sometimes. Nope. Drill bit's knackered. Don't need that. Right, I'm just going to take this out by smashing it, so I won't bore you with that. Right, so ready to fit the stator. Um, I, where's that? Oh. Okay, so I've removed the inners. Well, there's two little coils, windings in there, smashed it out. It's, it's like a ceramic thing. 
holding it all in place, two rivets drilled out. Um, so that can go with that bolt for now. This needs to go in here. Okay, fits beautifully. Just gonna see where the holes are though. Or does it fit beautifully? I'm not sure. So there is a little recess here, look, where the, the little P clip and all the wiring goes. So I'm just making sure it all fits nicely. It's not touching anything. I need a smaller mirror, but I don't have one. It looks okay. Okay, just tightening these. Uh, put some blue Loctite on, don't want this coming loose, I um, just want a quick look again. So status in, I think the battery on my torch just went again, camera, um, or overheated I mean. That's in, these are torqued, that's three behind, I've had a look with a mirror and we can spin it round. This can go up there and get a nice new grommet. Slide that on there. Looking good. Um, neutral switch. Uh, so that's good. I can just, just live with that for now. Three wires. I'm not sure about the plug. Might have to be changed later. Mechanical seal. I've cleaned all that. Um, so some new. Seals in here and here. So I've, I've used all the memory now on my phone. So I'm just um, I've replaced the seal. I've put a brand new neutral switch on. New copper washer. New oil seal. New cam shaft seal. So that's what the neutral switch looks like, poking out the other end. So I think I'm ready to fit this. I just want to put a blob of Vaseline on these seals.
keep that in place. Right, new new gasket obviously. I've cleaned all this with solvent. That's better. This bearing. Tappy tappy. going Cool. There we are, back cover, done, pretty much. I'm starting to look a bit more like an engine. It's 
fresh day. Um, so I'm just, I did these hand tight, which is, is long. It was the end of the day, I was getting tired. I just wanted to get it done. So I'm coming back, I've just loosened them an eighth for the turn. I'm gonna torque them all properly. So the M8s go to 216 pounds inches. I think the M6s will be just about a hundred. Ten, ten newton meters, something like this. But I think it's, it's, you know, it's important, especially when it's a sealed surface, like this will be, to have even torque. And as I was saying, I always, I've always been taught when you've got bigger bolts, these also act as kind of locators. So, torque these first before the small ones. All of them. And set the torque, which will be, which is about a hundred and eight pounds inches. I really need to tie this up before I damage something. <laughs> 